some tea. As uh, many of you guys already probably know, or at least aware of, I started a, a Patreon account to help support uh, produce these Nick Sabicki Go lectures, and uh, we have some some gold level supporters actually on that Patreon account, so I want to do something special for them, and uh, just, just, just right off the bat, just review a bunch of their games. So uh, this, this game is actually sent to by uh, gold supporter Brian. And uh, I think Brian here is black, I'm pretty sure, actually. Um, I think he told me that in a message. So we'll, we'll, we'll start here. I do, I, I've, I've got four games I want to go through today, so um, I'll try to list the timings up in the YouTube channel. So if you just want to you know, skip ahead to the next game, or if you just want to go back and look at, it, at one of the game in particular, um, you should be able to have the, uh, the time marks to go do that. Um, anyway, I do want to try to do four games here, so I, don't, I have no idea how long this, uh, this video will be, but um, let's get started. All right, so, so far we got Brian 8K versus uh, some internet opponent 7K. That's good. I'm pretty sure there's no Comey in this game. We can just double check. Uh, and it does look like white won by seven and a half. Uh, pretty, pretty fast game. Okay, so we all understand the pretense. And just so you know, I do, I do actually recommend playing lots and lots of fast games, especially if you're a Q player. Don't uh, you know, think you need to play really slow games to get out of learning. Often, um, you know, there, well, first of all, there's the proverb, you know, you have to lose 100 games before you know what you're doing. Or is that how it goes? I forget how it goes, but it's basically play 100 games before you know anything and go. Um, and, uh, you know, so fast games are great if you're a queue player. Once you start to get to the, the lower single digit queues or even Don level, yeah, then, then I'm much more concerned with you guys playing slower games, you know, slower time limits. Um, but as long as you go back and review your game, there's a lot you can learn from just playing lots of fast games. All right, so three, uh, two three fours. This is fairly traditional. Um, two opposing three fours. This is uh, you know not uncommon. Uh, we see we see pros play this um, somewhat regularly, um, though it is a little bit interesting because now this side of the board is the quote unquote largest side, right, as far as distance between stones. Um, so black continues to play a more or less orthodox opening. That's fine. White approaches, totally expected. So far, these two players are nine Don Pro. Uh, this move's a little strange here. Um, when we have this sort of formation, we really expect, and I should get out my tool here, uh, this area to be developed for black in some sort of way. And the reason is because you can imagine with a couple more stones, there and there, for instance, we make a really nice box, and boxes are really, really good like squares are the most efficient shape on the go board um, in terms of making territory, right? I can make one point in the corner with only three stones, right? That's the easiest way to make one point, and that's because it's square, right? If I try to make, you know, rectangles, you can see how that becomes less and less efficient. Uh, so anyway, this move doesn't quite kind of do that. This is just this move is really saying I'm interested in these points. It actually kind of uh, throws this area under the bus. So it's a little bit bad direction. All right, so black plays the Joseki, and if we're gonna finish finish the Joseki over here, this move is the most appropriate move uh, in this case. Sometimes, if this is our side and we're developing, we can play a high move like that, but low, defensive, proper. And white also plays the proper move here. So, so black may, I mean, all, every player is playing perfect Joseki. It's just that black has already made a big mistake um, choosing the direction of this Joseki, right? This is basically like a like a two or three stone wall. It wants to develop over here, this whole area. And now white has this pretty solid group that's sort of jutting into that developable area for black. So, so far, just, just to recap, I like white in this game. White's already winning. Um, you know, it's, it, I mean, it's still a game. It's, the game's not over, but white has taken the lead. Uh, but black's still a stente, so we still got to... <laughs> Play more go, and this move is completely appropriate by white, uh, right? White white has this very large area over here, um, so this is very developable. Um, the corner is not very interesting. Building over here is not very interesting because of this black stone. 
So white can't really extend and make something huge over here because this corner group is so solid. When your opponent's really strong, it's hard to develop because uh, if we just play a stone here, let's just go back to the move tool. If we just play over here for white and try to develop this, well, black, this has no effect on the corner. Well, it has a little bit of effect, but black can just say, no, I'm just going to go right around you. Um, and because the corner is so strong, I don't really care that you're approaching me. Uh, this response, how do I feel about this? I have to think about this, actually. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, this is what we play when we want to um, basically lean on this or attack this. Um, and we don't mind white developing over here. So this is this is entirely appropriate. Um, yep, really not a problem. We could have also just played this. And this variation has a couple of different um, ways it could go. Here's probably the simplest. Uh, and then black needs to find a move. Actually, black doesn't need to find a move because black always has this move in the corner. Black can tanuki with something like this. Or black could lean here. There's, there's a lot of follow-ups for black. Um, that's probably the even simpler variation. Uh, this one, this one can be complicated. All right, this is this is the normal Joseki move. However, um, white really wants to play this when this is developable for white. Again, you want to play fourth line stones when you have friends on that side of the board. When your opponent's already has a, when your opponent already has a strong third line group, moves like this are not ideal. Uh, this is not exactly Joseki. It's Joseki-like. Um, more normal Joseki is actually to come here. And uh, in this case, it's actually really fine for black because even though we have a low stone, we can actually still develop this into something. So this is this is perhaps most normal here. And this is a very, very strange move. Um, I mean, both of these moves, right, look kind of strange. This knight's jump, shoulder hit thing, and then being pincered. It does more or less force white to come through here. Um, but then there's actually many Joseki variations that follow this. So, you know, this is this is all very playable. Let's see what happens when black does this. And, uh, and we might even revert something back to like Joseki. Yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is a playable response in this case by white, um, though this is also very normal. Um, just sort of depends on Aji and, and what you want the shape to end up being. If white is convinced that white is going to continue to attacking this, um, this is actually a very appropriate move, right? Just keep our stone strong. Um, but the downside is white can't really attack it because black can just lean here, um, which black does. Here, this should probably almost definitely be a Hane. Um, we're not putting enough pressure on black. Uh, black is becoming more and more comfortable. And then we play this move. Hey, that's a nice direction, nice direction. Um, and then black still has this attachment here. This is this is very flexible for black, and black, if black gets even a little bit stronger here, we still can counterattack. So overall, this variation um, ended up being pretty good for black because white never hot ate here and put more put uh, enough pressure. Uh, white takes the corner. This also threatens to link up underneath, so a very powerful move. Um, and black tanukis. Eh, that seems dubious. Okay, let's talk about this. All right, so a couple things. Number one, uh, if white has a stone here and black doesn't respond, all of these white stones are safe. Um, it's very difficult for black to do anything, um, which is really too bad because right now there's a lot of uh, um, just sort of Aji in this whole area um, that we have to look out for. Uh, we even just have moves like this if white just sort of cuts blindly. Um, white has to be very careful because then black can cut this off in sente. Um, white, of course, can't do a move like this because then black just cuts through and eats the corner. Um, but if white plays the more proper sequence first, Atari first, and then deals with this this way, um, black doesn't have to res respond right now, though I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure how good it is, actually. Um, well, anyway, here, here's the shape I want to show you. Black gets this Atari for free, which does mean that now all of a sudden these three stones are no longer connected. So there is, there is, I mean, even Aji to exploit. And especially if we play a move like here first, uh, this gets very interesting very quickly because white really now owes another move. And 
white tanukis now things like this become uh, very very powerful uh, where are you gonna fix white right there's no nothing no good way to fix this if we capture this black eats the corner uh, so you know I might defer to a stronger player exactly what the most efficient shape here is it could might be just this peep instead of this um, both prevent this connection but you know I, I I feel like black really should keep up the pressure because there are weaknesses here um, this is a weak shape for white right especially when black has a stone here and here so just a missed opportunity uh, so this feels this feels now um, we're, I think I think I think here here's a I can't think of a good analogy, but but basically you're saying, hey, white, I'm going to come over here next and attack you, even though you're completely safe, um, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. The stone isn't really developing anything. It's uh, it's certainly reducing the corner, but it's not really you know directly threatening this. White already has a strong group here now with this connection. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, yeah, this, this move feels lost to me. It feels like we need to do something more directly here. Uh, how do I feel about this response for white? Eh, it's a little strange. I'd probably pincer. And the reason why I would pincer something like this, this stone helps us group, means I don't need to connect here now uh, in order to stay alive. It pressures this stone. And uh, these four black stones are still very weak. This stone actually will help attack them. So it keeps the pressure on. Uh, here, I really don't like this connection. I really want black just to tanuki. Um, I'm not 100% sure where, actually. But this is not uh, needed yet. Or it's, it's not, I'm not, I'm not sure what the right shape is. Um, we, we, have, we have this weak group over here that feels like it needs help. So I don't mind leaving this cut, right? We, this, is like, this is like a reduction move. We got like a free reduction. Um, so I probably want to find a move to help black. So I still probably come over here and do this, see if white fixes the corner. And then if white does, maybe we get into this sort of like running fight or something like this. Where, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're attacking while fixing our shapes. And it seems very unlikely that white will ever have time to go over here and make this cut into anything really useful because of this weak group right here. So, yep, this just feels like bad timing. Oh, but white obliged, instead of uh, instead of putting more direct pressure on here, I think white, I mean, it really feels like white should come over here now and just, um, well, actually, no, black shape is still tough to make something. Yeah, this move's okay for white. This move's okay for white. Um, because again, our shape, this is this is the type of shape we want to use when we want to develop something, right? Big, thick wall, we want to develop this. But we don't, again, we can't develop it because we have this white group here that uh, isn't unsafe yet. <laughs> if this group was more unsafe, this would be a very powerful way of playing. Because um, now we could sort of run this into this and um, we could use this wall to attack. Oh, all right, so white... I think is, uh, or sorry, black is, has a plan. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit worried about the plan um, because the shapes feels very weird. It feels like number one, white just can just, play, oh, that is the move that got played. Um, plays a simple, very, very simple move um, to just basically make the group almost completely safe. Um, but second, I'm not sure if either player looked at this, there are more complicated moves that get pretty scary pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, and this kind of shape right in here with these three stones, this looks very difficult fight, very difficult fight. And, the, and, and not only that, this is a really key point to, you know, poke at these two stones too. Um, and we'll use a different label here. Um, these three stones also aren't completely safe as long if, if these two stones ever get strong um, because there are shape weaknesses here, right? Black really needs another stone somewhere in here to make this completely safe. White can even just come under here at this point and just invade now. Um, again, if, every, if, if all these white stones end up being strong while attacking this. 
So that's just one possible variation. This this just seems very very thin between here and here, and I think I think if you guy if either player in this game was just a little bit stronger, I think both of you would have thought about this a little bit more. Um, this is the type of move that that strong players need to find in order to win their games. Um, playing just the very very simple move that makes life easy for everyone is probably not good enough, though. You know, in a in an eight Q game, you know, hey, white, this is fine, right? I mean, white's making his group safe and really exposing these weaknesses, so I don't mind it at all. But man, there's some more scary things that can happen. All right, so black, yep. After this scariness is revealed, black comes back and fix, and this is actually this is a pretty good result for black, um, just because with these two moves, uh, we still, there, I mean, white white's group isn't dead by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but it's not completely alive yet either. Uh, there are things later on we can we can have fun with it. And black shape is actually a lot stronger um, with these two stones here, uh, specifically these two. Uh, now there still might be a cut over here that cuts off these three stones from these two stones, but uh, we'll probably deal with that later. All right, so white comes out uh, to try to neutralize this wall and that makes a lot of sense. Uh, is there a better move? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't completely fix all of this Aji. And, uh, you know, it does It does threaten some sort of invasion over here, right? Where White can use this two stone wall and invade to attack this, um, while at the same time, you know, potentially keeping the shape or eye space limited for this group. So, yeah, it's okay. Uh, is this necessary? It's good. It's all like like this is the kind of move you usually want to avoid because um, white still has moves that will just poke at the shape here. Um, you know, black might not get any eyes basically, or have to make gote eyes, and then white will get super strong and then you know attack pretty severely. But here, if we don't play it, let's see what let's see what white can do. What's the worst white can do if we don't play this? It's got to be. Let's put that up there. It's got to be this move, right? But I don't think this moves anything because we have moves like this. Uh, clearly, there, this doesn't get any real benefit for white other than just a, a sente connection. Um, but anyway, I was going. My original thesis was this move is okay because white still has these weaknesses. Um, so don't you know this is not the move. This is not a move you want to rush to play. Um, you have to make sure that white is still a little bit worried. What did white play in the game? White played here. Yeah, that's that's okay. It feels like we really need to Hane and just keep exposing these shapes. Um, put a little bit more pressure on it. it. Again, this is reading, right, where you have to be really confident in going to reads like this um, about what's going to happen. Because um, really, right, this whole sequence, not sure if you guys saw this, but it does activate this cut here, right? We can we can we can capture this. This is this is not any danger, um, right? It's one, two, three, four liberties to three. We're not in any danger. This is five to three, so also a win. But it's this cut that makes everything kind of go hmm. Um, so black might be able to get some other sort of compensation. Of course, it doesn't completely work yet. Um, because white has sequences like this. Actually, white doesn't because white's short of liberties. Okay, so this is actually a pretty interesting sequence. This is a pretty legitimate line of play. Uh, so, where were we? Right, white played here. Yeah, so white, white, you know... Yeah, I guess this Hane is dangerous. Yeah, both, play, both players are not, you know, finding... Like the really dangerous moves, and you know the first the first tip I'm I'm gonna give you, uh, Brian, is that, you know when when you are playing Go, try to find the most severe thing you can do first, and then read that like mad, and if if you think it works, play that move. Don't read anything else. If it if it doesn't work, try to find the next most severe move. And if that doesn't work, find the next most severe move. And then, you know, just keep going down the line that way. 
And that way you try to prioritize your reading. Now, I know you guys didn't have a whole lot of time here, um, but you guys are playing pretty quickly. Like these are like five second moves. <laughs> so yeah, you can watch the clock tick down. So I guess you guys really aren't doing that much reading and just playing safe moves too. So it's that kind of game. Uh, this move, uh, hmm. Well, actually, let's go back up. This this move, this move is good. You know, it's it keeps the pressure on. Um, it does make this point kind of important, though. Um, there might be an argument to play a move like this, but I like this is more optimistic. It, does, it still doesn't really expose this cut, though, as much as I'd like it to. So that's, anyway, this is okay. Um, when white plays this, I think white's also really aiming at this group again, right, on a large scale, playing on the fourth line, just thinking about the center, um, trying to reduce any sort of black potential, because um, right now black only has two areas for points, right? This right side, which is, you know, not small, at least 25 points if white just takes simple reductions, and a 10-point corner. So, you know, maybe 35 points for black. White has really two, well, how many areas? It's really four areas, but they're all smaller than blacks. Um, this, of course, being the biggest one. Um, so anyway, this is this is this is not a bad move. Not a bad move for white. Yeah, but of course, black will aim at the weakness while developing. And that's a big deal. Uh, white reduces. Getting a double wing here is very very big. Here, actually, probably here. Now that we have this stone here, we can threaten more severe invasions. Um, this this would be pretty sizable. Go from you know ten points, probably closer to twenty five, if not thirty, in terms of development. Double wings are really good. So white's preventing that. It also helps prevent any sort of severe invasion over here. Um, I like this move a lot for white. It feels it feels uh, flexible. I mean, or, or maybe not flexible, but it feels proper. Um, I'm still worried about this connection over here. We do have a, a weak point that might come into play later. Uh, so Black peeps at the weak point. He doesn't really take it. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. Because your opponent is leaving you such a blatant weakness, and I understand this is a hard weakness to really use because your shape is going to suck so much after you play it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just really going to... I'm not even sure what white should do here. Um, but either way, black shape just sucks. <laughs> but, and this is the big, the big, big but, now this white corner, actually there's some Aji here for black to exploit. We have a weak white group on the board. And if we, get, if we end up getting a move like this, this actually helps our connection over here um, with our other weak group. So we get a lot of nice things happening here with black, right? And the biggest switch, of course, is we have a weak white group now to attack and, our, and the white corner is weakened. When we poke at a shape like this, we're sort of saying, hey, white, I know you're weak there. Do you know you're weak there? And you're allowing your opponent the opportunity to uh, just come back and fix, which is the move in the game. And now there's a lot less corner Aji back here. We really didn't make this stone that much stronger, quite honestly. This stone still has, uh, you know, a white weakness right here, um, where white can still invade here. This stone really has almost no effect on the outcome of this. And it's really about four points. Actually, well, it's more than four points because the end game here for black is good. So I mean, it's 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 just like six point, you know, six to eight points um, move for black. But six to eight points in the mid game isn't worth that much when there's weak groups on the board still. So so uh, this is a really good exchange for white, uh, where white now has no problems on this board. Um, with the pretend, well, yeah, I mean, there there's maybe potential for a problem down here. Um, still, but that's the only one, and this this one is this one's tough. This one this one, especially for Q players, even for Don players, um, would involve a lot of reading to really see what the potential is here for a white problem. So that's a big that was a big loss for white. Yep. So black takes the shape point. Uh, it's a really it's a really um, big point because white can basically take that for free later. Um, it's really hard for black not to respond if we if we give white that, and it's sente for black. Um, it re-exposes all these weaknesses. 
Yeah, it's it's a really it's a, I, I would be so I would let me put it this way I would have a hard time finding a reason not to play this move as black. Um, it does sort of white induce white into leaning on our group over here, but that's not really that bad of an induction. Um, although I'm not sure how I feel about this move. I think I think we should just play calm. Whoops, move tool, and just play here. I don't think. Well, we could we could be aggressive here. This involves some reading, though. Um, clearly, we're we're entitled to cut off the stone if we want. If white does fight us, uh, it gets significantly more complicated. Oh man, way more complicated. Uh, we go back to this thing. Yeah, actually, white looks okay. White looks okay. Oh, yeah, white's white's pretty fine. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was just indulging myself, trying to find something. Um, that's why we don't cut here. We just play this one, and this one white's not entirely okay. Uh, white just dies. So yeah, so we can still we can still come out this way, right? Because this doesn't work for white. Um, so I think it's still you know my only, my only concern is it does leave a lot of Aji for black, but it feels like white has to come back and respond. But then we can come back and respond, and now we're also building more on the fourth line, which means a move like here is going to be bigger later. Um, when we take moves like this directly, um, this move doesn't have enough of an, eff an effect now on this group, especially when white stabilizes here. So it's like saying, I'm going to build something really, really big right here. See? 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 Right here. And white will just come in here and say, okay, you can have something as big as you want right in here for these six points. Anyway, white uh, pushes out. Okay. This is, this is okay. Um, again, keeping the pressure on the black dragon. Uh, black responds. White plays here. This move feels a little bit on the wrong direction. Feels like this doesn't put enough pressure on black, because black, again, should come back and fix like this and actually make something over here. Um, if, we, if white was really interested in developing over here... Um, I'm much more interested in this side of the board. You know, we we have moves for white here, 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 and here. They're all pretty cool, or at least maybe not cool, but worth looking at. Let's go with that. Uh, okay, not a real shape point. <laughs> Again. I feel like we can have such a more fun time with this move, right? And and you might be thinking, but look, elephant eye. Black should cut the, off the elephant eye. No, black should not cut off the elephant eye because this is super dangerous <laughs> uh, for a number of reasons, although white should have the ladder to play that cut. Uh, does this one just work? This one just works, right? Yeah, this, this, this feels, this feels pretty nice. Uh, now, if we I don't, I, without even thinking about what happens in this type of co over here, you know, if if it just goes to something like this, these two stones just get swallowed, and uh, you know, yes, black destroyed basically these white points over here, but this is such a bigger gain, right? Because these are black's points, and now they're white points. At least it looks like right now. All right, how do we get here? Uh, fantasy land, fantasy land, right? All right, so black extended here, which is you know this that this you know basically guarantees the safety of this whole dragon here, um, minus these three stones. It doesn't guarantee the safety of these three stones, but it basically guarantees the safety of everything else. Unfortunately, it doesn't feel like it quite shorts the liberties of this. Like black before had the potential if we if we got the liberties a little bit shorter, right? Cuts like over here become more exposed again. 
So it's this is another sort of safety, super safety first kind of move. And uh, it doesn't really have a whole lot of effect on the rest of the board, unfortunately. At least for right now. Because, uh, oh, and yeah, the reason why it doesn't really have an effect is because, again, white sells moves like this. <laughs> All right, this move, this move's bad for white, just because white has better things to do. Um, black responds here, but I think that might be wrong. How come not here? Isn't that just more points? Like, white doesn't really have anything here. Although the shape is bad. The shape is bad. Because um, we do sort of have to respond over here. Um, but it felt like white could take that anyway, right, without having to play this. Like, if we just wanted white to play over here, or black to play over here, we could have just done that. Um, yeah, I'm not in, not in love with that result, though. What was that? Again, I really like this one better. Uh, because if black does defend, well, then we get a, a much nicer shape. Right, this is the shape you really want if you're trying to develop this. Um, but, you know, there's also moves like this, too, that are also consider considerations. And again, really, really, I mean, the move I most want to play over here is really this one. I want to attack these things. Um, so maybe this stone is really looking at this attack. That's how we can use it. Yeah, after this exchange, black is stronger here. <laughs> Remarkably so. Uh, yep. Oh, but white, white cut on that side. Why didn't, why didn't white cut here? What is white scared of? Is it this? It has to be this, right? But this is nothing. So is it this? But we've already looked at this. I guess, I guess this is something. This could be something. But white just plays here. Uh, shape, shape, shape. Huh, black can live. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That was interesting. Maybe white doesn't have time to play this one then. We just have to come back. Oops. Which does mean. But black does get this. Uh, just, I'm just reading out some sequences here. Hmm. This might actually be killable. This might be killable in this sequence. Okay. Did our players play anything like that? Oh, right, no, because we did this. <laughs> Safety for everyone. How boring. Uh, is this move important? It feels like... What did black play? Eh, this feels greedy. Oh, actually, it's okay, it's okay. Because white doesn't really have anything, but... Um, it's similar, it's similar in the game. Uh, I just don't think this move accomplishes anything yet. It's not that it's a bad move, it's just... It doesn't do anything yet. Alright, this... what is this? Hmm. Feels like we just lose points, right? White didn't play that. White connected. Okay, I think white should play here. <laughs> and, uh... You know, this, this is an okay move for black, right? This can help us theoretically develop this, so... This move by itself is okay, but black got a better than expected result because white didn't respond correctly. Even though black's making this, white should be able to get compensation over here with this stone. And be able to block this off um, and capture this later for endgame. Uh, is this Sente? It is not. White responded anyway. White, you got lucky, black. You got lucky. What if white just comes here? What do you do? No cut, right? 
There's just nowhere to cut here. No cut. Uh, can we can we can't make this co? Yeah. No cut for sure. So you got lucky that white responded. You got away with stone with a free move. Oh, you can't play that right now. Way too slow, way too slow. Look, 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 look. Have to play something like at least here. If we just build a wall right here, we're saying, we're gonna take these points. We have no stones here, right? White can just reduce like all day long and you're, you're pushing from behind essentially on the reduction. Whereas we play a move like this, like, like yeah, sure, white can take this stone. But now this wall is way ahead of this stone and actually working a lot more effectively. So this this is a authentically bad move. You guys both played a bunch of bad moves here. Let's go back and look at the clock. Not to embarrass you, but just to see. So here, oh, that was 20 seconds, 20 seconds. White responded in three seconds. So yeah, white, white could have taken some more time there. And this one was one second to connect. Yeah, that's that one. That one you had a better opportunity. All right, but here we go. This attack is slightly exciting, although this stone uh, does help. Um, but white is probably counting on these three stones helping as well. And of course, everyone knows that black could also just play this variation and just be fine. Um, but white white will be okay. Will be happy to take these points. So. Uh, ooh, ooh, different new strategy. All right, so this was not what I was, I was expecting. I was expecting white to just come in here and uh, ruin black's territory. Yeah, something like this. And I think, do we have time to play this? It's possible. There's no good follow-up though. Uh, so from here, is it just take? Connect, that doesn't connect. Uh, probably just connect. And here. Uh, but now white is alive. White doesn't owe any more moves. And white gets a bunch of more free stuff and threatens to take this on some sort of big scale. Um, right, white can't kill. If we do this, we just do that. So, and black's points have been reduced to basically nothing. I mean, there's 10 points here at best. Maybe we pick up 12 if we have really good endgame and get here first. Um, but this is this this actually went really well for white because also white has these three stones uh, facing outward. So white plays this variation where white just takes the outside, and black. This actually makes black super happy. Look at all these extra points black gets. I'm playing. I played out the last variation, so you could compare um, what both players get. So in this variation, right, white gets two extra points and black gets like nothing. Um, just a small corner. White still has this outward influence. And the way you guys played, white got uh, basically the same thing on the outside, except black got a lot more points and a solid connection here. Um, so anyway, white, you, again, black got away with something. Ooh, nope, too small for white, too small for white. White needs a better move. Probably just there. It's fine. Uh, wrong direction, I think. So this move, if this move attacked this group, this would be worth something. But it doesn't. So let's plan the side that's worth something. This area is very developable for white, so let's push this way. We can attack white this way. Yeah, if black jumps again, that's interesting. It's an interesting idea, actually. So I just come back and fix something like this and make this. Okay, similar, similar. Um, 
If white wants to respond locally, this looks like a better move, right? And just threaten to play this co later. Because it's not really a co. <laughs> Blacks is captured in net. It's not a big deal. Is there anything? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. All right, what did white play? White played there. All right, bad shape for white. Black, all right, Brian, you went here. You're worried about your connection. Why? Why? You don't need to be connected. You just need to build. All right, you don't, you don't really mind, actually. You might even be able to get away with this. Yeah, your wall's so strong down here that I think you can just play this one. And if white plays here, no problem. No problem. White's not going anywhere. Look at all these beautiful points for black. All right, so this is another tendency um, for Q players to realize that they have a weakness in their connection. That's a good, I mean, that's a good, that's a good step, right? That, that means you're no longer double-digit Q, right? You're single-digit Q. But the problem is that this connection actually isn't very important if it's connected over here. Even like this would be better, right? Even this would be fine. Um, so there's more than one way to make these uh, connected. They don't have to be connected. These three stones do not have to be connected to each other. They just have to, they don't have to be connected at all, right? This one is really only worth, you know, maybe two or three points at best. Uh, as long as these ones are connected to their outside groups respectively. So, all right, so White gets that. Uh, here's the thing. I don't think this is Sente enough. Good, nice, all right. Nice move. Back, Black is finally now back in this game. It's taken a while. Um, now, Black hasn't won yet. Uh, there's still lots of good endgame for White. Uh, but now Black is officially in this game. Now this entire game basically rests on this no man's land right in here. Whoever profits the most in here will likely win the game. Yep, and of course White gets the first move. But this is the right idea. This is the right idea. So you should be really proud of this move. Let's see how long it took you to think of that. The Tanuki. Three seconds. All right, Brian. There you go. You've made up for your previous three-second move. Nice move. All right. Uh, White's coming in deep. When, when your opponent comes in deep, you got to have a plan. And the plan can't be just cower in fear unless that wins you the game. And even when it wins you the game, it's often the wrong thing to do. Usually the plan has to be mutual destruction. Good. I, I'm more tempted to mutually destruct the other side. Uh, just because... Uh, yeah, I don't know what the follow-up is here. Right, It's actually hard to get in this, this way because um, of this stone. Whereas, once we get a stone over here, it feels like um, we can push a little bit further, a little bit faster. Yeah, see, now you're switching sides and you're, and you're going over here to destruct, whereas we could have just done that the first time. So, you got the right idea. Feels like the wrong shape, though. If we play here, uh, just play there. If white just plays here. Right, we're in. If white wants to take points, that's fine. We can come back and take our points. Something like this. Yeah, it's, it's, this is just like, like, like your, your idea was good. I just think you picked the wrong side. The side's harder to come in on. Ooh, look at this. Is this anything? Nope, not really. Oh, well, what? Oh, okay, all right. Um, now let's black come in a little bit further though, right? I think white needs to just take this because uh, we can actually jump pretty far here now. And white doesn't really have any good way to directly stop this. Black played here. Oh no, you just ruined your Aji. This gained you nothing. Nothing. Oh my gosh. 
So we're here, right? We have Aji, right? This stone only has two liberties. That's great for black. If white had just taken this, I think white's worried about this move. This cut, which is fair. This is it's pretty fair, right? Because this is actually very, very big for black. But the, if black just plays this way, um, white gets, you know, can easily seal in. But even if white just starts taking big endgame points now, um, black can't really get that far in here, right? There's really no way for black to get in really far, even if we just play this way. Right, I have to come here, have to come here, have to come here, right? That's as far as you get. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess white is kind of right to extend. Um, but first we have this Aji. And then, depending on whatever white's response is, we can come back. We still have this Aji. So there's 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 a big problem here. And when white plays this, or black plays this, it's like, oh my gosh, all those all that beautiful Aji just comes away. Just goes away. And then we're peeping at the cut. This is okay. This is, this peep's actually playable because this side is sizable as well. Where did black play? No, that's probably... Oh, it's okay. It's still okay. It's still okay. Uh, anything to worry about? Not really. Ooh. Ooh. Better move? Do we have a better move? White looks kind of like white's in... Yeah, and we have to do this really crawling sequence. Okay, this move I think is bad for white. I think white should just start poking over here first. Are you gonna defend? Are you gonna defend? And, uh, doot, 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 doot. Uh, maybe that's the end of poking though, huh? That's as far as we get. Is there a better sequence? Poke here first. Hmm. Uh, still not really anything. I guess black's always safe, huh? Because of this. And this doesn't set up any Aji over here, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, alright, this move's okay. Good job. But, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> there still is. You're still gonna get damaged over here. It's not small. It's not small at this point. Um, nice move. It's a big endgame. Yep, white defends the eye shape. Uh, black goes for the kill anyway. Is it possible? Doesn't look good because of this wedge, right? Looks like black needed one move on this side. This was the, re the important side. Um, we needed to take that earlier. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's that's enough for the win. Secure the win for white, even though black came back. Somehow turned all this into points. Yeah, there's not enough, not enough. End game, end game. Anything there? Oh yeah, this was a bad monkey. White should just play here, right? Standard monkey jump. Technique, right? White, black can't really play this because of these Ataris. Atari, nothing. So white messed up a monkey jump here. So it gives white and black a chance again. Uh, yeah, for Ko. Yep. Nice job. Good reading, black. Takes another monkey jump. White should not play that. That just gives up a free point. And does it threaten something larger? What if black came here? Nothing. Oh no, but it's, it's still so here. We have to play the co. Let's, let's assume white has to connect this. I'm gonna see if there's a way to make this in a seki. No. So white's place here, right? Not seki. Okay, never mind. Whoops. Uh, don't close. Yep, all right, and <clears throat> in end game is probably not that interesting. I mean, the game's basically already decided after this loss down here. This was really, really big. And remember, Black had 
all this Audrey over here earlier on that Black never was able to take advantage of, or never did take advantage of, I should say. Um, if we keep going, yeah, territory looks pretty, pretty much well defined at that point. Score estimator agrees that it's a white seven and a half point win. So, you know, if we just were to thumb through this again really quickly, big mistakes. Yeah, direction of play thing right here at the top. Got a pincer. Uh, over here, uh, just look up this Joseki. It's not a big mistake. I think Black does okay here. Um, but then this move feels a little strange. This is, I guess it's not that strange considering Black probably doesn't know what Black is doing at this point with this group. All right, it's like, what are you? What am I doing? I don't know. I'm going to go play over here. I'll figure it out later. It feels like that kind of move. Um, White's response is kind of lukewarm at best too, though. Uh, so black actually, like in this, in this end up, this end up being an okay result for black, believe it or not. Here, it's a little tenuous because both players are not willing to acknowledge that there's some really important shape points. Maybe you guys are already looking at these things and uh, thinking about them and just waiting, waiting for the right time to capitalize. Again, this is a, this ends up being this. These two end up being a, overall a good exchange for black, but then this is a bad exchange for black. So you guys, it's like black does something good, black does something dumb, black does something good, black does something dumb. Pretty normal in Go, actually. That's that's true at almost any level. I really, I really think this is a bigger move than you guys took into consideration, right? Given how well it cleans up this whole area. Um, White, white shouldn't be scared of this push by black. All right, this is pretty super gote um, for black, so I don't think black's in any danger of, of playing it. And if black does play it, um, I'm still really curious to see moves like this. <laughs> Which never really happen. Maybe white needs this connection first. Uh, but then this, yep, you guys played kind of some meh kind of moves here in the middle for a while. And this was not a good move, but your opponent thought it was. But then this was a terrible move. <laughs> Gotta play something faster at this point. And then we fight, but white fights the wrong way. That, help, that basically almost lets black back in it. But again, black should have been destroying all this while attacking this. Connection is too slow. This is this is probably your best move of the game. Wrong side. Got to go in from the more open side. And here we just missed a lot of Aji, right? These two are really important shape points. They're really hard for white to deal with. This, I mean, probably play this one first. And assuming that white does something kind of timid, then we can cut directly. And sure, white gets in, but... You know, we cut off a stone, and we still have Aji. This just gives up all the Aji, right? No more Aji. <laughs> um, just to just to harp on this just a little bit more. White plays this way, and we play here. Let's just say White takes this. Well, now it feels like White can do this, right? But White really can't because White doesn't have that many liberties either. Right, white can take all these Ataris, um, but white, I don't think white can push again. Right, because now we cut. And there are moves like this. It gets complicated, it does get complicated. But if, well, actually white has no time, right? We just capture the middle stones. Uh, other options after this? I guess white has a push here, but then white always has to come back here. Right, so we always have time to come back and kill this off and kill this off. I mean, that's just one example. I kind of glazed over earlier. Um, but that's an example of the Aji that I was seeing that maybe you weren't. Right, this, these two stones don't have a lot of liberties. And so we played the simple, very simple variation. And so you just put your, took your points directly. But the downside is <clears throat> White had an easier time sealing this whole thing off because we never got to use this Aji. And basically after that, it's actually, actually mostly endgame, minus this mistake. Yeah, man, how I wish Black just had one more Sente move earlier on in this in this corner. Yeah, 
the game would have been very, very different, actually, had you played one of the, any one of these moves so much earlier in the game. All right, so nice game, Brian. Nice game. Uh, I'm sad that you lost, but, you know, it was a pretty fast game. I hope you see the reasons that you lost, and, uh, you know, especially on some of these connection moves, you know, you... you um, you and your opponent both connected a few times where you didn't really need to. You both could have played a looser move. Um, so I guess that's another good takeaway for you. Think about severe severe moves and think about, do I really need to connect? And if I do need to connect, is there a better way to connect? You missed a, a few of them. Um, like this thing over here where you made that sort of uh, three stone jump and then the middle one was an iron pillar. Anyway, good game. Let's look at another one. Look to seeing more games from you, Brian. I really... Uh, I really hope that, you know, through these lectures and lessons and just you playing, um, we'll actually get to watch your uh, your skill level go up here. All right, next one's going to be Matthew. Got that one loaded. You guys saw my mess of a desktop. That's kind of scary. All right, so this one is going to be strange because Matthew here is about 18K. Uh, Matthew's another gold level Patreon supporter. And uh, the white player here is only 10K, so... Man, this would be exciting, I think. <laughs> Go, Matthew. I want to see you take down a 10K. Uh, this is interesting move, right? When Black says this, Black's saying this side of the board, really important. Right? I'm going to leave lots of space over here for both players to extend super far. And White says, okay, you can get the first extension over here. Be pretty normal, actually, for White, instead of taking a corner to actually approach. That'd be more normal. But this is, I mean, taking an open corner is almost never abnormal either. Um, all right, so far, Black's having a good game. Uh, I know it's a 10K versus an 18K, but these two stones for white are very, you know, they're, they're butt up against one side of the board. And this 4-4 stone is very developable. We have the biggest side of the board over here. We have two stones on the biggest side of the board. So far, this game looks great for Black. Uh, white pincers. This is an abnormal pincer. We usually don't see this one very often. I need some tea. I forget how much my voice dries out when I talk for a long period of time. Uh, okay, this is kind of this is getting into weird land already. <laughs> uh, um, I think here for black, what I would be happy to do is to just play one of these variations where either A, uh, we get a bunch of thickness and can then more seriously attack this stone. Um, maybe even, maybe ex exchange. Actually, you have to probably pincer first and then exchange. Or, uh, where we settle, I'd be happy to settle here easily. Um, black, white does really need another move here. White probably needs to play high though in order to make this stone worth something. Let me still come back here. Now, now we're strong, right? So we don't have to worry about being counterattacked. And we play here directly. This feels very loose. This white stone is actually not very weak. Because this stone doesn't have a base or eye shape yet. And there's just so much room for this white stone to run. Oh, nice move. 10k, 10k is playing a nice move here. Although, yeah, this is a nice move. So the re no, normally we don't want to make this kind of exchange, but because this stone has so much room to run, we don't mind actually giving black an attack. Oh no, dog bite! No bonehead! Don't do that! <laughs> you played such a nice move. White needs to come over here and play here or here, maybe something like this. So white keeps up the pressure on these two stones. And as long as white keeps up the pressure on these two stones, this stone is also strong by the transitive weak group property of go. Write that down, kids. Put that in your notes. The transitive weak group property of go. I just made that up. But it's totally a thing. When we play a move like this, we're saying, you know, this group isn't going to be that strong. This group, that's not going to be strong. This stone, that's not going to be strong. We're just going to have everybody be weak. And, uh... <laughs> to look at another way right now, this stone, this stone's the one in the middle with a ton of room to run. These two stones actually have a better shape than these two stones and can press on them right now. 
And this stone is actually pretty safe because it can still has a base to make out over here or in the corner. So right now, black is actually in the better position. Black's especially in the better position if the next move is here, which was not the game. I was very sad. But that's the move I want. Ugh. Oh. What? No. <laughs> okay. Matthew, let's talk about this move. I think what you're trying to do, and, and, and what you're doing is really admirable, because you're trying to build up this area while attacking this stone. And that's really cool. Right, so that's really good go thinking. Unfortunately, the spacing is wrong because this white stone still actually has too much room to run and it can also still attach in the corner and cause mayhem in your corner. And when we want to build up something, we want to do it more naturally. In other words, if you want to play over here, let's make sure this white stone can't get a base. Let's keep this white stone inflexible. And this white stone starts running. Now we're going to play a move like this. That's going to build a bigger area. Look at all the more points we took directly, right? Like these are almost entirely all black points now, right? We've got uh, six or eight, about 18 points worth of black, almost. And white still has any eyes, and the stone's still attacking it. And if white jumps again, we can just keep building. That's a lot harder to do with this move, right? Because let's say white just even plays here. Well, you might think that you're building something really big. This is very, very open. And you're pushing white into your weak stone. Whereas before, you know, if white was just running out, you were building and leaving your weak stone out in the open where it can run to safety. And like I said, there's still some endgame shenanigans here at this point. Not even endgame, middle game shenanigans. So, yeah, the shape is this odd. Alright, but white played an odd move for you too, so you got that going for you, which is pretty nice. Uh, direction. Uh, direction is hard here. Direction is hard, because whatever you do, white should cross-cut and just make this area a mess. Now that black has strength on the two outsides, white just wants to make a mess in here. Make sabaki, as we usually say. So whatever side you play, white's going to cross-cut. So that involves some reading. Uh, except white didn't play that. <laughs> Actually, black didn't play that. Black played on this side, uh, so white should play this one. And I think you, I think you just take the stone here. There are some, there are some more higher level variations that go like this. Um, this would be fine. This is profit now, but white's pretty happy too. Actually, white probably has to play this way. Um, so that's possible. That's possible. Yeah, the crosscut variations involve a lot of reading. White did not, though. White played here. White's giving you a huge opportunity. Like, this is great for black. Um, yep, that's okay. That's okay. I think, though, this is better. This is kind of a cool shape. Like, you don't mind giving this up, right? Look at all the free moves you get. Free stuff galore. Pretty almost solid corner. You still actually have this move. is still kind of a problem. But... Now that you have a wall here, you can just push that into the wall, and it's not a really serious problem. You've got a giant wall here now to expand the bottom. Your only problem is these two stones. Um, so that would be possible. This one's also possible, but probably a little bit worse. Okay, so we played there. Good. This is, this is, oh man, this is a great result for black then. Did you come back and fix? Game record says nope. Yeah, this doesn't quite fix all the way, because white has sneaky moves like this. And like this. And like this. And the cut doesn't quite work entirely. Well, actually it does, but it's severe. It's hard. Very hard reading. I think black can still kill this, but man, it's dicey. But even if white just plays a cross cut here, right, it's all of a sudden now white's made a mess again. So we just gotta play a cleaner move. Just just quell this stone. Quash this stone. Alright, but white is giving you an opportunity. White's saying, hey, fix yourself. 
Uh, you didn't want to fix yourself. I'm not sure why. Okay, oh, I see. So you want to help out these two stones. All right, and you did something really good that was also bad, but good. Let's talk about the good first. You leaned on a strong group. Good, right? You helped a weak group by leaning on a strong group. Except this group isn't that strong yet. This white group, it's stronger than your group, that's true, but it's not that strong yet, so we really don't want to lean on it. And number two, there's actually a better group for you to lean on right here. This is a, this is a hard decision for white to make, have to make right now, because white could play like this uber fighting style kind of go where it's really difficult for white. And by difficult, I mean white's dead. <laughs> um, if white plays that way, white can't play that way, obviously. Um, white really needs to... Now, what does white do here? Where is the shape move? Is it here? No. Oh. That doesn't really work either. Um, white's dead again. Yeah, so I guess white can't actually do this without more help. So white has has to play here. But that's fine, right? Because you can play here. And if white crawls again, then we can play here. Then we can play here. And now all of a sudden our group is so much stronger than it was before that it is White's group again who starts looking like it has the weaker group. So we needed we needed to lean on this strong group. So you, you, you lent, you, or leaned, leaned, <laughs> not lent, on the wrong strong group. Um, it's okay for White, we'll ignore it. <laughs> this move's not good enough, especially because White I'll take the opportunity, yep, to get white stronger, and then come back and attack you again, if you respond. Ooh, did you read this? I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's... Well... <laughs> this, this is hard. This is very hard. I think you're okay. Yeah, you're fine. Oops. There, 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 there. Oh, you're not fine. Oh, check this out. Oh, this is a sweet sequence. No, you're still fine. Still fine. Right, white or uh, black can't take this because that's a snapback. Uh, so black has to play here. Black could theoretically take now, but it doesn't really get him anything. So anyway, and then, oh man, yeah, actually it's bad for white in the end. Well, I don't know, if white gets here, this is a huge exchange, right? And this is in this exchange, white is killing all this, but black is getting all this, or at least most of it, I don't know, I don't know, that was, that was fantasy land, let's go back. There are some interesting variations there to be sure. Um, I should just play here, though, right? And that, and that makes all those other variations less crazy. Okay, good. Oh, all right. Almost the right idea. Almost the right idea. You can still attach here at this spot. Okay, but black has some shape now, so we don't feel as bad. We still don't really have eyes, but we have a little bit of shape. Um, this is mediocre at best. Because later on, let's say this group ends up becoming really weak. Well, this might be Sente against this group, if we can surround it later. And then we can have big end game, or even kill kill against the corner. So we're using a lot, up a lot of Aji right here. Oh, no. Might just place here, no? White didn't do that. White decides to go live in the corner now. Uh, this is a problem. Because black still has this issue here, uh, and I think, yeah, this 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 is. I don't think this is a terrible move for white. It looks stupid, but black black has issues, right? And again, this shape we made earlier is kind of a non-conventional shape. So I think white can get something here. 
<coughs> All right, let's take a tea break. This is a ginger, currant, green, and white tea blend. If anyone's interested, we bought a lot of tea over Christmas. And we have 20 kinds of loose leaf tea in our cabinet right now, but we also got a Japanese style uh, tea uh, water boiler he heater, I guess, where you just you go and hot water comes out whenever you want. So we've been drinking a lot of tea. All right, anyway, we should look at this more carefully. Uh, yeah, this is not the, this can't be right. <laughs> this is not a shape you want to make, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so everyone who's watching this video, just know, whenever you see this pattern, a four stones, a wall next to like a diagonal, it's the wall that has the advantage. Now, sometimes you have to play this, and this is correct, right? It's a bigger picture. Like, this is the shape you want because of something larger. But on a very, very local scale, even though these two diagonal stones are theoretically connected, right? Because white can never separate them. White plays here, black, whoops, I missed. Well, black could play there, I guess. But black plays there, right? And if white somehow were to play there without dying, black would play there. So, right, so both of these groups are connected for both players. But man, this, these two black stones have a lot more weaknesses than it looks, right? So we try to do something like this. You know, white comes back and cuts through. I mean, there's lots, lots of issues. So just know that We're, we don't usually want to play a move like this, and we especially don't want to necessarily play it here because there's still a weak point here, right? When we have a large knight connection, if I just draw over here on this part of the board, there are essentially four weak points, and two of them, right, are, you know, like uh, four liberty, like like like, st like strong points for your stone. It's not just a weak point for your opponent, it's a strong point for your stone, because if you play here, your stone still has four liberties. Here and here are also weak points, but your stone only have three liberties. And when we play a move like here, we're not really taking... Well, well, I mean, yeah, I guess this is a weak point, right? This is one of the one of the weak points, but the difference is there's no real cut because white's close to the edge of the board, and uh, I mean this just connects, though it doesn't make eye shapes, so we're not interested in it. Um, but we'd have to play something like this, and then the next move is actually kind of hard because if we play here, there's uh, this sequence which doesn't. Um, die. Let's say that it doesn't die. <laughs> I think is I think is how I want to phrase it. Um, but there's also things like this, and it's like oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like this is probably the most difficult one. Whoops, sorry. Uh, actually, that's not doesn't work at all, right? Yeah, we do play this one. Uh, what's the order here? Play here. Uh, have to play here. I guess this isn't really anything. White does get the outside though, but black is okay. It's gonna be something else more damaging. Oh yeah, just here, right? Oh no, no, it dies, it dies. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, interesting. So we do have to play this one. And yeah. Tough. Tough. Okay. Anyway, we went this way. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's a move for white. White is entitled to that move. And black is, of course, entitled to this move. I think white should take this Atari immediately, without thinking. White is, white is happy to fight this Ko, right? I mean, if black loses this Ko... Uh, now, all of a sudden, all of white stones are strong, and basically, all of black stones are weak. <laughs> so, white would love that co. Uh, so, like, white white just seems content to live in the corner. Yep. Okay. Alright, you guys had a fair exchange. Oh my gosh, what is a 10 cube doing playing this move? I hope he just played there. Yeah, that's just good enough. Oh man, I hope he just played there. Oh no, what do we do? Okay, this is reasonable too. This is reasonable. 
But I think since we have this stone and this stone and potentially this stone, I think we can play more severe. There is the proverb, Hane at the head of two stones. We must do it. Makes these two stones very weak. Whoops, not the other tool. Very weak. Two stones, three liberties. Not good. And if you think white, if you're worried about just white doing this, you're just going to double Hane. And if you're worried about this, white has shape problems. We saw this as a potential shape in the last game we just reviewed. All right, this is a hard shape for white to do anything with. It's uh, three stones that are sharing three liberties and have a cut point in between them for a double Atari. Oh my god, what is white going to do here? Something like this. Um, but it feels like we can just keep pressure on like this. You see how stupid the shape is? Now we have five white stones for two liberties. Our problem is not getting better, it is getting worse. Yeah, black just extends. We can't extend, right? We still have five stones with two liberties. They just die if we extend. So we have to play a move like this. And we don't have many choices, right? Because we do this, this is Atari. If we do this, this just dies. If we do this one, this one is most interesting because black has a choice of the throw-in, Atari, and then come around, Atari, and then kill. <laughs> Or, if that if, if white has anything else over there, we don't actually have to throw and we can afford to give white one more liberty if we have the time. Though in this case, obviously we should give white, the, or we, shouldn't, we should take away the liberty because white doesn't have time. Yeah, so this, this is just trash. All right, and it all starts with this move. This move is so big. Like, white sucks, <laughs> right? White has to play stupid moves like this. And if white's playing, Stupid moves like this, we have time to build something really big here. Alright, look at the size, just drool, drool all over it. Anyway, you played a safe move. How kind. Alright, so that's a pretty reasonable move for white. Although these two stones aren't exactly strong, so this is all completely invadable, but the move is pretty good direction. Pretty good. Black invades, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. No. I'd be more tempted to, to approach closer if we're gonna invade there. I really want to take advantage of this invasion though. Of this of this weak group. So I would just I would be pretty happy just doing something like this. And saying to these white stones, okay. Where are your eyes? Because if you get white to play something like this, now this stone looks stupid. I'm always happy when my opponent's stones look stupid. This might be a little bit of an overplay, but it helps our shape if white tries to cut it off. Alright, white doesn't really have time to do this. Although, white might have a ladder here. Alright, that's more advanced. No ladder, huh? Right? Did I read that right? Anyway. Fantasyland, Fantasyland. Um, I, would, I would try to find a move that attacks this. this, this these are the heavier stones. So it's probably better to approach them than it is to just split this. Like when you split something like this, you're really just saying, okay, I acknowledge that you're strong everywhere, I just want to go in there and live. But white's not strong everywhere. White's actually kind of weak over here with, with because you have this three stone wall. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, that's not an appropriate move here. This is a move. Like this is, this is a thing that you will see occasionally like in a pro game, but... Um, Actually, no, no, it is, it is playable because you, White already has a stone here. So, you know what? This might be like a 9 Don Pro level move. And I just missed it at first glance. Ooh. I think I think you want to respond here once. I think it's, I think it's okay to do this. Because we can just... If White doesn't play again over here, we can just make shape really easily. This we almost never want to do. See this stone... See these stones? See how they're weak? This is again, you're sort of saying, hey, I'm weak too. How about we all be weak together? And white says, no, I'm going to be strong. And now white has basically fixed this giant gap here. Well, meanwhile, you're still kind of weak. So you don't really gain a whole lot. Uh, okay. Alright. What happens when white plays here? Do you still have two eyes? 
It doesn't look like it. Whoops. Well, you can make it, though. Okay, what does white do? White comes over here. Yeah, that's reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think white still is missing an opportunity to attack this. White, white should be attacking on this to help guarantee that this weak white group is safe. So it's very, very soft. Very, very soft. Uh, these moves are all very soft. You guys are not... Like, uh... It's like you both want to fight, but you're doing it. It's a pillow fight. This is all very, these are all very pillowy moves. Right? No one is really attacking anyone. The move white should have done is probably, whoops, probably not that one. Probably this one. This one has a potential shape problem, right? See that cut? It's pretty nasty. So, yeah, we just want to play, whoops this one. And if black just leans, we're happy to take more points. Look at look at all of our nice points we're going to make. So this one is like, uh, hey, I'm going to come at you from super far away and super soft on the third line and give you plenty of time to come over here and make shape and re-attack me. Um, this, move, this move really isn't that bad, right? It's really, it's really, it helps this group, to, assuming that it can't be easily cut off and it reduces this, but Realistically, we just need to play closer to here, something that puts more pressure on this group and strengthens our own. Yeah, this is super soft. This is not a good move for white. So, so far, whoops, I didn't mean to delete that. So far, and then black plays here. This is reasonable after white plays two slow moves. Get more free stuff. That's pretty reasonable. Okay, but if we look at this game, uh, looks like white has 10 points over here, another f 10 to 15 over here, 25. Another 5 for 30, maybe another 5 to 10 over here for 35, 40. Um, I mean, black really only has this as any sort of significant points, but it's 30 points. You know, assuming that we get a couple more free things over here. I mean, more than 30 points even. So this is still a game. So, I mean, if, if these ranks are really accurate, and Matt, you really are 18K, and you're playing up against a 10K, I mean, you're doing really well. Uh, white, yep, just protects, so this was a good, these are all good exchanges for black, because that'll help the weak groups on the outside. Nope, can't, this doesn't do anything. We need to find a more direct move, and namely, we want to find moves that threaten the opponent. And luckily for you, there's still this weak group on the board. Now granted, your opponent can make it pretty strong, almost any time poking here but we still got to do it we still got to do it and even if we just get one or two free moves over here it's probably going to be worth it especially if we can use one of those moves to help this group or build this moyo down here because um, you still have moves like this right that threaten an invasion build you got lots of good stuff just can't play that here, all right, so white is going to reduce this. That's pretty fair. Uh, black did not play that. Black played there. I think here is slightly better, right, because you're still undercutting the base over here. Um, again, I'm not entirely convinced that, even though white has five stones here, that we can't find a way to make these unsafe later, especially as we're building a moyo. Uh, threaten the connection, make sure this group's safe, but it's really not a big deal. Now's a good time. Come back over here. Do something. You know, make eye shape, maybe threaten, the, or not threaten, but help connect these stones. Um, oh, I see, I see, though. Right, right. The other problem is, yeah, because we didn't play this one, we don't have eye shape. That, or, we, or rather, white can take our eye shape away. So this was actually pretty large mistake because white got a couple nice really free things out of it all right and then this move ooh why not all right so let's assume for a second that this cut is big which i'm not convinced it is but let's assume that it is first of all why not uh this one 
And this helps build this bottom a lot strong, uh, better. Or even this one. We want to play this one when this poke is really important. This poke doesn't really accomplish much yet. All it helps is, if I tanuki, um, white make shape on the outside. I guess we can't play this one yet, but... Um, yeah, this, this, this is not a good inducing move. Yes, yes, and because we didn't play this one, white can just keep pushing on the outside. And we poke. Oh, white does play that one. Atari? Yeah? Uh, can you go all out here? It's hard. That's not really anything. I think you gotta go all out. White, white, I think was playing a little too cavalier. Ooh, fancy move. Uh, is it better than just playing here? Uh, tough to say. Tough to say. I think I think it's worse because it gives it just gives white more options. Yeah, and now this stone. Well, uh, well now we've injured this stone more. So now this bottom. You know, with one more move, is getting really big. Like, game-winning big. Oh, man, we got the turn in. How exciting is that? Yeah, I guess, I guess... If white plays there, we can actually play this first. And white can still save the stone, so that doesn't have any meaning. But we can keep white weak in Sente. Check that out. This is still a game if it goes this way. So this white weak group has no friends. At least the nearest friends are over here. Which, which again is too bad these two moves got in here for free because of we didn't make eyes quickly enough. Alright anyway white doesn't white doesn't allow that. White plays here which is a great exchange for us. Um, right? Because now Let's say we do come back and play a move over here. This peep isn't anything. I mean, it's well, it's something. White can still poke it, right? But if white does, it's completely gote. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, no, but white, black descended. You didn't need to descend black. You need to take the outside. Outside is super important. Super important. If you are also worried, there's another variation here, right? If white just does this, well now white has just helped you get eye shape. So you're you're fine with this. And this is also can be made a false eye. So, I mean this does make us safer. But it still doesn't give us two eyes, right? Well, white has to play here first. Still doesn't guarantee us two eyes. Right? One eye. That's false. Okay, but white is catching wind that white has been split into two weak groups. Anyway, this whole thing, this whole thing is actually going really, really well. Let's go back a second and start it. So it turned out that this move um, was really good because white just didn't play the simple connection. <laughs> and when we played here, yeah. This is, dude, let's see this, Matt, let's see. Yeah, white is gonna take all this free stuff. This is probably too tight. You should probably just play here. Don't give your opponent free moves. This creates a weakness. Free moves for white. Is this the game? That is the game. Uh, dangerous. Oh, bad move for white, right? Because white can't actually do this. If I could do this, this would be great. But there's not actually anything there. Hmm. What did white do? White connected, then black just connects here. No, no, or black connect. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it's not a, not a problem, because black can always can make an eye, right? Even after this? Uh, 
Hmm. Man, White really needed to take this a long time ago. You remember that move? I've been... Actually, it's really not that big of a deal, but it's just... White might never have the timing to take it ever again. All right, I'm also... So, so I'm looking at these variations, and the whole time I'm looking at something that you guys are probably not seeing, right? This is, this is the cut. And it doesn't work yet because of this move. So this move, this move was, it turned out to be fantastic. <laughs> Makes everything work, or it's turning out to be fantastic. If you can't see it, let's play it out. Dunk, dunk, dunk. White can't connect here, but what white can do is play this first, and then play, no, that still doesn't work. I thought there was a way to get the stone out. Yes, here, right? Oh, but then black captures this. So yeah, white can save the stone, but that's not anything because black is that. Okay, all right, I, I sort of outread myself. Anyway, I'm just trying to find a way to make this work for white. So if we go back here, all right, white screwed up. White should have never played this move. <laughs> this is asking for a lot because of this liberty problem. So anyway, Matt, man, Nice move right here. This is baller. Give yourself a pat in the back for for playing this one. This makes a lot of nice things work for you. So, sweet. Very, very nice. Be proud. Uh, is that necessary? White connects. It might be. It might be. But if it is necessary, it's probably better to actually play it over here. And that way, you're also, um, you're guaranteed to not allow white an eye here, right? I think, is that right? I guess white can play there and still make an eye. Uh, what if we play here first? Same thing. Okay. What if we play here? Yeah, it's, it's so it's because it, unless unless this group is short of liberties, so that makes this Atari. I guess we can't actually take that away. But anyway, this I don't think it threatens life in the corner, but white does. So there you go. It's a win. If you don't do this, how do you kill? You can push, but then what? If you play here, right? It's just dead in Gote, or, or alive in Gote, or alive in Sente. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. Uh, yeah, bad move for white. Bad move for white. Black's still trying to kill. Is this Sente? Doesn't feel like it. Here, if we play this one first, this feels like the move. Oh, we just play there. <laughs> and white responded again and again. Oh my gosh, look at all this free stuff the black got. So, okay. Um, man, I wanted this play so long ago, I can't think now if this is a good move or not. I kind of feel like... We need this this area of the board. All right, let's go back. All right, so we just did a whole bunch of stuff. This area of the board is like where it's at right now. All right, so this move is really big. But this area has, let's count now. Let's use our number tool. One, two, three. And again, if this one dies and this one's fine, so I'm gonna count this one as part of being that area, or at least relatively important in this area. Four. <laughs> five weak groups in this area. There's no way that you're going to tell me that this is worth more points than getting the first move in an area where there's five weak groups involved. Like, there's no way you're going to tell me that's possible. So, I, you know, this is the big before urgent kind of problem. Now, on, on although, although in your defense, or defense, I don't know, um... Actually, I'm starting to have second thoughts about... I, actually, I see, I, see, I see now. I have to retract something about this move earlier. So the problem with this move, though, 
is that white can create a lot more Aji really quickly. And we can't really run this out, <laughs> right? This is kind of suicidal. So you know what, actually, remember when I said this is a great move? <laughs> it's only great for about five seconds. And then actually just creates more problems for us. So I think my initial reaction earlier on after this exchange, and black played there and white played there, yeah, we should have just played this way. <laughs> or we can't play that way, right? We, we should just play this way. And just connect everything really solid. Because now if white wants to play here, that's fine. But now we can push up, get our points, keep pushing. Uh, it's actually hard to attack. There are some weak points, but it's hard to attack. All right, so so anyway, this this... I, I was short-sighted on this. I was just thinking locally. I was like, hey, this makes everything work. But yeah, of course, white just runs us out. And then all of a sudden, the game gets really complicated again. All right. And also, Matt, you got away with murder over here like twice. OK. Then you play here. Oh, white doesn't run it out. Oh, white is so nice to you. So nice. And, and when white captures this way, this cut still doesn't work. So it's still not helpful. Oh, and that's a slow move for white. White needs to play a faster move. Something that actually might pressure these three stones. Or even better yet, probably threaten this group, this group, and this group. All at the same time. Um, yeah, black's thinking too too greedily here. They're, look at all the weak groups, okay? Weak groups. Okay, white finally acknowledges something. Unfortunately, this move induces black to get stronger in our golden area, right? We have three weak black groups and a weak white group right there. So wrong side white. So this is still going well for black. All black has to do is play a move like in here. No, <laughs> no, you're, <laughs> you, this is important. <laughs> White, what are you doing? Forget this. Come out here. Oh my gosh. Attention. This is why I can't watch Q games. Because no one is figuring out what's important. Oh my gosh, White got the first move in that area. Oh. Alright, I gotta drink some tea. Oh man. Oh, now you run this out? I think this is a bad idea. Black, this is not going to end well for you. White's next move has to be there. Um, this might work too. This is a lot clearer to me though. Right, because Black's options are really limited if we insist on saving this. Uh, we have this sort of a uh, double uh, or Atari an Atari problem. Yeah, yeah. There's this. I don't, I'd man. I'd have to read this forever to find some sort of Tasuji that doesn't work for white. Basically, um, it's terrible for black. Once white gets a stone <coughs> stone here. We really can't expect to run this stone out. We have too many other weaknesses. But this way is the exciting way, or at least more exciting where white doesn't just win outright. Oh man, oh man. I just wanna watch, I don't even think I wanna comment. I've already shown you what should have happened, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna watch this Q madness and enjoy it in all of its Q glory. Oh man, giant samey eye. You guys see this group here? Oh man, and this group here, oh man. Black tries to get out, but nope, there's nowhere to go. Uh, no? Oh, is that greedy? Black has to be careful because then there's other same EI between this group and that group. Ah, oh, man. You guys made it really complicated. And it was so simple. Like, white just wins. <laughs> uh, 
Mm. Oh, man. Oh, this is madness. Well, that settles this basically for white. Black's still in trouble. Like, big, giant trouble. Okay, so black uh, gets the eye shape. Finally, why is white taking that right now? It doesn't really do anything, right? Um, shouldn't white just cut this off here? All right, so white plays that. Black connects. White can still cut that off. Is that is that a thing? Like, is there things over here? Uh, what is white worried about? So black can do this. Oh, co. Yeah, co. Actually, black should. All right. So on this sequence, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. The, I see the thing. Black has this. Kind of thing, except we still needed a move over here. And there's still this. Oh man, oh man. Uh, so white just defends. Yeah, that that's fine. Black's still in trouble. Black just connects. Is that premature? That feels premature. Or white play. Oh, white. Uh, yeah. Threatens right, to link up. I don't think white, I think white just, well, depends if there's anything over here or not. I don't think there is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's no hope. No hope. Oh, man. So, and, I mean, the end result's the same, basically, except black played the all-out super, or white played the all-out super killer variation because black insisted. I'm trying to save this. Okay, what should have Black done? Let's go back. Sorry, that took me a while to just sort of like wrap my brain around. I didn't look at the end of this game earlier, so this was all very shocking to me. <laughs> but, man, it got exciting. All right. So, yeah, we already talked about this back here, here, here. Right, right. So Black, yeah, Black, this is this is the moment where Black can still, you know, just play a move. Play a move. Even like this. It's okay for white to save this. As long as this group gets stronger and can simultaneously help out this group and this group, right? If all three of these groups are safe, now the entire game is basically uh, one for black because this group is under attack. I'll put all the alphabet on it to show how much attack it's going to get. And while we're attacking it, black should be able to get compensation and reduce this here, build this here, and possibly even build some stuff over here too. And white really doesn't have that many points, right? We've got, you know, we counted earlier, you know, 10 points here, maybe 15, maybe 15 here, although probably less after this exchange. Um, and again, there's, poss there's potential for, you know, maybe 10 points here. Plus five, so what is that? Ten, if, like like best case scenario, we're looking at uh, 25, 30, we're looking at 40 points for white. Is like best case scenario. And, you know, right here, here's 30. Here's another, I don't know how many this is, maybe five or six, and here's another three or four, maybe even five or six or more here. And again, if we, if we can attack and reduce while we're doing this, then yeah, I mean, this can be a one game for black. So this is the moment, This is this is what we missed out on. Yeah, so Matt, you know, kudos, dude. I mean, you almost took down a 10k, quite honestly. I mean, up to here, this is this is like your game. Um, it's just unfortunate that you know there's still that proverb, right? Weak groups before big points, and uh, we missed it. Yep, white got white got to fix the weak groups first, and you saw what happened, especially with so many of them. If there's like five weak groups in the somewhere in the board, you better bet your balls, son, that that's that's going to be the point where you got to play. So nice game. Exciting. Exciting. Real nice game. All right. Uh, I, I, at the beginning of the video, I think I said I was going to do four of these in a row. I'm actually, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. So I'm going to definitely take a break. Maybe I'll do more. It's getting kind of late now too. 
Um, maybe I'll do more either later on or tomorrow or some other time. I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put these up on the internet relatively soon, I think. Um, certainly sometime this week. So you guys can see them and hopefully I'll get together soon. All right. Thanks for sending me your games, guys. And thanks for, uh, for supporting these lectures.